what's up guys it's been about two maybe three months since I put out a video I just want to reach out and say thank you to each and every one of you who reached out just to ask if I was okay I'm okay everything's been a little different these days I was doing some duck hunting uh, quail hunting and dove hunting I've had some luck but that's what I've been up to guys so uh, I was pursuing those interests and you know now I'm gonna get active with the channel again if you guys want to see that stuff on the channel just me getting out there uh, doing a little bit of hunting you know let me know in the comment box I'll be uh, happy to share some of those adventures check this out Wow the start of some sinkholes out here oh boy you know what that one's pretty deep I'm not gonna mess with it oh get that in four there there it is yeah I don't know how deep that one is but that's a pretty big hole right there from what I could see I don't want to mess around with that you know out here in the desert it's not uncommon to uh, have those sinkholes form uh, in this environment so yeah stay away from that you don't know if that's going to give away for once so I'm not even sure why I even uh, attempted messing around with it but check this out yeah here's another one forming it goes off this direction let's get down and have a look this is so wild these washed out sinkholes are interesting to stumble upon you know they're out here in the desert environment what happens is over the summer during the monsoon season you know this area is all prone to uh, flash flood and so when it rains heavy the water got to find the low point which is this way and so when it's coming off the high points you know it gets into some places like this where it's kind of flat and then it creates these these sinkholes like this or these flooded washboards and it's just wild these ones here are about six feet deep they're not too deep but nonetheless you know you get stuck if you fell in one and if you actually fell in one yeah you're gonna have a hard time getting out well that was such a cool little uh, washout to check out those sinkholes man they always amaze me the way they come up out of uh, the middle of nowhere you know especially when you're in the desert like this it's just uh, you know relatively uh, a flat environment uh, for the most part then you get into areas where uh, there's some mountains and the landscape really seems to change and it's just really cool to uh, observe that out here in the desert man this is the time of year where a lot of our forest service is closed up and especially the ones that are closer to my house so you know I can't get into the mountains at least until uh, mid-April so the deserts are the stomping grounds for now well that was really cool we just came off of that right now we're right in the middle of a big dried up uh, spring bed when the rainy season comes in this gets active man and water will come through here and some of those floods that come through they're so severe man you'll be swept down there's there's loss of life every single year because folks attempt to cross these uh, arroyos which are you know dried up spring beds this is super cool man according to uh, my app it's all public land out here I know off this direction at some point you know there is a uh, some private lands but this is a cool little find out here somebody's old uh, abandoned homestead this is something else man
I'll tell you what, it always amazes me that no matter how far you get off grid or off the uh, paved pads that you find old relics like this really, really neat. Always wonder about the lifestyle these folks had out here. Overall, this is a pretty well kept uh, old homestead. Got an area here with some canned goods. See, they like their uh, ranch style pinto beans. Got some potted meat up there, some soup, corn right here, some hot sauce, product of Jamaica. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've never seen that in New Mexico. Got a battery down there, some pepper. Overall, this is a pretty well-kept farm homestead. Got a kitchen, sink area, some more cabinets. Got a mirror with what looks like maybe an old medicine cabinet. At least that's how I associate those. Got an old bed, a lot of glass in this room. This was a sliding glass window that was busted out and all that glass just lays to rest right there. But I'm assuming this was the bedroom. The roof is slowly starting to give away. And I'm assuming this skylight is the only way they lit up this place in here. Wonder what's taking refuge right there. Little bird's nest. Here's the bathroom, shower, toilet, that's where you go poo. Really cool. Not a bad view to wake up to and come out your front door. Got the uh, mountain range all across the horizon over there. And then more desert plains off this direction. Beautiful. Nice big windmill and tank. Good watering system. That's a big tank. I'm pretty sure they uh, also stored water in there for reserves. A little bit of a uh, corral here. But what's really cool is this wood corral system. Look at the size of that beam right there. This was well crafted, built to last for sure. Love the backdrop over there. Nice mountain range to look at, plus the uh, open desert rolling meadows out here. Yeah, I know the way these work right here. These are big open bins on top. And so what you would do is you'd drop your hay or whatever it was that you're feeding your livestock with inside of that. And so it helped the farmers go uh, a little while without having to put any uh, buddy to work to come out here and feed livestock. And so it would self drop into the uh, containers right there. And of course this here at the end uh, was a place that they would set water so at the end of each of these feeding bins you know you'd have water for your livestock so on this feeding system right here it doesn't want to slide up but it would slide up this little board raft and so up here you fill this up with grain and then that grain would come out and land into this trough so I'm assuming that uh, either they had some sheep out here as well, or they were also feeding their cows grain. Whatever the case is, really cool just to touch this old relic. I mean, the wood for the most part is in relatively decent shape, but you could tell just the uh, harsh environments deteriorating this wood pretty quick at the same time. But it's cool to live in a, a, a lifetime that you could actually come out here and still see this uh, 
all their generational stuff. I mean, it's just really, really neat. You know, what are the future generations going to have when this stuff is all decayed and on the floor? You know, the city to look at. I mean, enjoy this stuff while it lasts, guys. It's one of a type, and you know, it's it's, it's awesome to to see our old heritage at work. What a beautiful view on the uh, north end of the corral here. Could you imagine what it would be like to sit out here, watch your livestock graze on all this open land? The peace and quiet, the just natural ambience that you get from this environment. I know what I would be doing. I'd be sitting right here, watching my livestock and a cold one in hand. And at the end of the day, take my horse, run all those hills out there and bring my livestock back in. That's not a bad day, man. I could do that day in and day out. So I'm out here walking around the backside of this old homestead. I found something that looks like a old outhouse or something. Let's go have a look at it here. At least I'm assuming it is. What other type of structures are on the back of homesteads, you know? So, oh yeah, here it is. There's your poo hole right there. Pee hole, whatever you want to call it. Yep, hole's probably underneath. But we did see the... Uh, had operating toilet inside or at least uh <laughs> they had a toilet in there who knows if it was functional i don't see any way that you could get uh power out here so if they used that toilet in there they may have had a a big hole underground and they just filled up that toilet with water and just did a gravity feed just to flush down the uh their mess. Otherwise, they came out here to uh, this outhouse. I'm just in awe with how wild and vast this country is. Incredible. All right, guys, I'm going to take a little bit of a hike up to uh, this little plateau up here. Going to look to see if I see any signs of uh, Indian artifacts. This is an area, you know, aside from the homesteaders back here that you could actually find Indian pottery, arrowheads, different things like that. And not only that, the occasional fossil, you know, I don't know how many uh, millions and millions of years ago, but this part of New Mexico is actually under sea. And so out here you could find uh, old sea artifacts as well. Really neat area to come and check out, that's for sure. There's a nice little look at the homestead from the plateau up here. Really incredible, diverse landscape, rolling hills, uh, canyons. You know, you got those washouts where sinkholes are created, mountains, and it's just beautiful. In fact, that mountain range right there is uh, Sierra Ladrones. Ladrones stands for thieves. And out this direction, uh, a lot of cattle theft used to happen. So they used to run stolen cattle up through this direction. I can imagine that the uh, homestead farmer right here actually had a deal with those guys. So I imagine out here somewhere there's got to be some bloodshed from uh, the uh, people trying to protect their lands out here from all that theft that was going on. Really neat though. What a great find out here in the Chihuahuan Desert. I knew I was going to find a homestead somewhere out here, but to find a farm homestead, wow, it doesn't get any better than this. And the landscape out here, just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to eat this banana. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. Sun does set out here in New Mexico at about 5.15, 5.30. Got about an hour to get back, so... Yeah, time is running away and it's just a shame. I wish I was out here to uh, do some camping. There's some more routes that I could explore. Of course, I got that big Arroyo wash that probably goes in 
geez, you know, 20, 30 miles, and it's just more to explore. I'm sure there's other uh, homesteads out here or some type of uh, Indian artifact. You know, there's just a lot to really uh, observe out here. But, yeah, good to hang out with you guys again. Wish I could do a camping trip. I should come out here and do a camping trip before it gets too hot uh, during the uh, summer months because you wouldn't want to be out here in summer. Winter, it's perfect, you know. Daytime lows uh, are probably at about, uh, you know, 15 degrees in the morning. It warms up uh, well above freezing. And so it's comfortable during the day, cold in the morning, but that's okay, man. It's time to eat this banana and go. Let's get up out of here, man. Really neat. Road goes off that way. Really need to go and explore off that direction. It's just one of those things, you know, you need a couple days in a certain area out here in the desert to uh, fully you know, get in what's in a certain section of the desert. You know, I came out here and saw some pretty cool stuff. And I bet there's more to it. It's just a matter of getting out there and taking all these different uh, crevices. But yeah, this is that big uh, washboard or dried spring that probably travels in I don't know. I wouldn't doubt that it goes up there behind that mountain or pretty far. I bet you'll hit uh, rancher's land before you even get to the end of this washboard. But I know uh, there's a lot of public land to explore that even goes that direction because I did a little reconning just before I came out here. You know, Gaia GPS, which is my uh, preferred choice of uh, outdoor utility, you know, you could put on what's BLM land, national forest land, and even private land, and you could, you know, plot out routes uh, based off of that. And it's really, really cool. Highly, highly recommend using that app. You know, you could do a lot at home and then, uh, you know, set that up and you could use it in the field without uh, any type of service. So the trick is you, you got to be mindful of what you're going to do and have it all set up at home and your, your settings set. So that way when you're out there, uh, you're good to go. Need to get back inside of this. Cause there's the, the track up there. Well, I guess I could come up here. So I'm about maybe three and a half, four miles away from that farm homestead. And looking across the uh, valley over here, I see a structure over there. Doesn't look like uh, too, something too impressive, but nonetheless, it's a structure, probably another small homestead or of some sorts. Of course, it's across the uh, Real Pretco River Valley that's down there. And that's a dry river valley. It runs seasonal, just like most of uh, the lower elevation things here in New Mexico do, you know, during monsoon season or during the spring when the snow is melting up in the high country, uh, those little river valleys will uh, get some water in it. But nonetheless, I'm pretty sure there's a route that'll go across on the other side. It's just a matter of uh, locating one. Right now, I'm probably in the area of about uh, 35, 40 miles of uh, riding and I haven't even touched <laughs> everything that's out here. A lot of land.
tell you what, I would love to be camping out here. I bet the coyotes get to uh, yapping really good out here in this uh, arid desert environment. And since there's no trees, I bet you the sound of their uh, yelping carries a long ways. I bet that would be pretty cool. Yeah, things are starting to get overgrown. Nobody comes uh, out here very much. You know, it's mostly seasonal stuff. In the summer, when it's pushing 110 degrees out here, you know, you don't come out here in the summer, really. But in the wintertime, it's perfect. Yeah, back to uh, where, we were, where we were just a little while ago. It's where that big first noticeable sinkhole was. Well guys, I'll part way with you guys for right now. Such an awesome day to get out here, talk to you guys and you know, catch up on what's going on in my uh, neck of the woods. Oh, dang, that was hard. <laughs> but until the next one guys, I'll see you on the outside. You guys take care of yourselves and stay healthy guys. That COVID crap is, there's nothing to mess around with. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.